Family involved in that wreck is speaking out today, but not with the anger you might expect from victims of a hit and run that investigators say took the life of a loved one. Instead, they tell us they are praying for not only their family, but for the driver who caused the wreck. WHNT News 19's Daniela Paraline joins us now. Daniela, first of all, how's the family doing tonight? Well, right now, guys, they are healing. And not only from those physical wounds left by this wreck, but from the shock of so suddenly losing such a beloved family member. For Jane Osgood, the wreck that took her father's life happened in a blur. We're on our way back, and I remember seeing the Space Shuttle Welcome Center. Next thing I know, I hear a loud thump and we're kind of flipping like, and then um, I heard the helicopter. After spinning out of control, the family was left trapped in their SUV. 69-year-old James Shaddy had been thrown out of the vehicle. I could hear my mother-in-law and my daughter in the back seat groaning and stuff, but I couldn't hear, I couldn't see my dad and he was sitting beside me. When she woke up in the ER, Osgood was told her father had died at the scene and whoever caused the wreck never even stopped. At that moment, anger could have been easy, but... All I could think of was to pray for that person because I can't imagine the turmoil that they must be going through. Osgood remembers her father as a faithful man. There was a loving father and husband, a good provider. He worked hard all his life and he loved his children and grandchildren. The family takes comfort in knowing he is in a better place. He died happy. And as for the driver who caused the wreck that killed her dad. I don't hate that person. I just pray that they can they can get repentance and 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 be forgiven. I forgive them. I forgive them right now. The Osgood say several families who were also driving up from Athens last night saw a dark truck speeding down the highway. Some even say they had to pull off the road to avoid that truck. If anyone knows who that driver may be, you are encouraged to contact the state troopers or local law enforcement. Guys.